Hello again. Good morning. Praise God. A mighty man of valor. To God be all the glory for the privilege that he gives you and I to still be alive. Alive, not just to ourselves, but for his purposes and his glory's sake. Hallelujah. So we thank God for every great man out there. And also, you know, talking to women to to rightly position themselves for uh, for uh, intercession, for intercession, for our dear, dear, dear leaders and uh, fathers and husbands and and uh, great men that God had called and all church leaders out there. This is war, and this is. The time and the place where the children of God come to that realization that we are in the most dangerous, Paul calls it perilous. It is such a peril to be alive. But we are more than conquerors through whom who loved us, the great and awesome one who has won the victories for all of us. And so before we even fight, we stand in the place of victory. And that is why we are confident that we will win this battle for the souls of our pastors and church leaders in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, yes, um, for those of us who were with us on Saturday as we interceded for the continent of Europe and the church of God, God gave me a word and as maybe you would, you heard it or, well, I'll say it again because that is the purpose for our prayer, especially for today. And the revelation that I saw while we were praying on Saturday on Facebook, the Lord showed me an army, a great host of army of believers, pressing, very energetic, full of firepower, you know, marching on to the enemy's camp to defeat the workings of darkness. Sitting on horses, I can I could see the dust of the of the feet of the horses filling the air, and that is the 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 power in which they were running. Then suddenly I saw an enemy, the devil, our enemy, the devil, opened there was something something like a hole in the wall. It, it just came from nowhere, discharging and releasing some black, horrible, gluey, tarry thing towards them on the streets. And so once the, the army of God, the body of Christ, the church of God were prancing towards it, the enemy also released this horrible thing. So suddenly, because it was gluey and sticky and like tar, black tar, what happened was that it it, it stopped the, the horses from going forward because their feet started getting stuck. Some fell off their horses, found themselves in these gluey, horrible, nasty things. Others were still on their horses, but struggling to move on. And then suddenly... I saw, I saw a white light in the sky. It was a thin white light. So I initially didn't know exactly what it was. Then suddenly it became a sword in the heavens. And this sword from heaven came and cut the source of this evil thing that has been released and discharged, discharged against the body of Christ. And then I saw that, uh, that gluey thing it receding, it went back, it went back, and it was like a hole, the hole sealed up. But the the um the army on horses and those who had fallen still had to contend with what has been released on their way or in their way. So whilst we kept praying and I was seeing what was seeing this, I saw a host, another host, a magnificent 
beautifully arrayed host. I mean, they, I could say they were angels, but they were, they were human form. But these were holding white and golden banners, prancing towards the, the saints that had fallen. And they came and, and, and those who were, were still on the horses, you know, they pulled them off. And those who had fallen into that, that um, a horrible thing, they raised up, they lifted up these soldiers of Christ and they put them on their own horses. Hallelujah. So when they put them on their horses, I mean, these amazing people, uh, or whether angels or humans or whatever they were, they were magnificent in strength and in power. And they got all those who had fallen off their horses and those who were stuck, put them out and they started racing towards the goal where the initial I mean, we're going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Then, the other, another dimension of it was that whilst we kept praying and whilst I was seeing all this, suddenly, there was a gush, a great gush, explosion from the ground. And that explosion was like, you know, when you are uh, digging a borehole and you hit the water, but you know, the explosion of water that comes out. This was an explosion of fire, the fire. And this was the revival fire, the explosion of the revival fire in Europe. Hallelujah. And then I saw men and women full coming out of this fire. They were clothed in the fire of God. They were clothed in the power of God. They were clothed in the presence of God. And they were running ready to do the will of the one who has called them and to finish it. Dearly beloved, this was such an amazing sight to behold. But I want us to take it Revelation by way because it looks like a story, but it's not. There are, there are sessions of it, and I want us to look at various aspects of it and then pray for the leaders because you see, when the enemy released that horrible thing, it was those in front who were affected. That is what I saw some stuck and others falling off their horses. It was those in the front, and those were the leaders. Those were the leaders. The church leaders, the pastors, the apostles, and the prophets. Because you see, the enemy is very crafty. The enemy is deadly, and he understands the rules of engagement. He knows where he he stands. He knows his defeatist position, but he's relentless in his efforts. And that is why you and I must be more relentless, more passionate, more resourceful, more on fire than the, what the enemy is. And so I believe whilst I was um, um, meditating on this, on this, I, I just, God just took me to um, uh, Matthew 24 and, and Jesus' prophecy about the end times. He said in, from the verses 10, I read from 10 to 12, he says, and then many will be offended, will betray one another and hate one another, and many false prophets will, will rise up and deceive many, and because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Dearly beloved, the, the enemy's assignment is release offense. Hatred, betrayal, falsehood in the body of Christ, deception, and lawlessness. These were the enemies attack on the body of Christ. The host that were prancing towards, snatching souls from hell. Those who were working and doing the works and the working the exploits for God. Suddenly the enemy released this evil assignment, offense, betrayal, hatred, false prophecies, falsehood, deception, and lewdness or iniquity. We are coming against anything the enemy intends to release 
against the body of Christ or has released against the body of Christ, especially the body of Christ in Europe. There is no exemption as to this prophecy and this word that God, that Jesus spoke about regarding the, the, the last days. It so happened that he showed me whilst we're praying for Europe. And I want us to pray. And if whether you are in Africa or America, any part of the world, of the world, this word applies to all. And I want us to take it and intercede in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for the souls of the leaders, the leaders, the pastors, the church leaders, the pastors, apostles, the prophets, those who are leading the army. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus against any satanic onslaught, any spirit of offense that is pulling, that is that is pushing the, uh, the leaders down. Many leaders have been offended. We come against the spirit of offense. The the congregation had wounded them will come against the spirit of offense that the, the, the pastors and the leaders will, will also forgive just as they teach in the mighty name of Jesus we come against the spirit of hatred the Bible says they will be offended and they will hate we come against the spirit of hatred in, in the leadership in the mighty name of Jesus well men and women are standing out and they are speaking evil that, that which is not true the Bible says False prophets, people are saying things against others, discrediting others, destroying others, and deceiving many. Jesus, Makuriaka, we come against all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Happening in the body of Christ, we're destroyed by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ against every pastor, against every church leader. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, they will not fall, they will not fall, they will not fall under the pressure and that the spirit of offense and hatred and falsehood and deception and iniquity by the power of the blood of Jesus we separate them, we separate them, we release them from any satanic onslaught in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, ancient of days basutaka, brakam bidibi atra brakanda yemar will a covering the ladies and gentlemen, the other aspect was that there was a host, another host, an army that came to deliver this, this men and women that have fallen off their horses and those who are stuck. In the name of Jesus, let's release help. Let's release help. Let's release angelic help. Let's release human help. Oh, Baburu Wasara, in the mighty name of Jesus, that the body of Christ will stand for one another. We will not stand and criticizing one another. Well, wherever the help is, whether it's an angelic help, angelic help or help from the body of Christ, we will release them all in the mighty name of Jesus that men and women who have passion and compassion will intercede for the fallen saints or for the wounded saints or those who have been incapacitated because of offense in the name of Jesus that people will understand that we are one, we are one mama sick and release help us dearly beloved release help us release help us he so kotoria with the human angels or heavenly host angels Angels, Baburubu to Sakatandi, release them, release them, Masaka Tadia Kalabo Sheka Turubu to Ata, Iman Zomburu Akakata. Let's release the sword from heaven, the word of God from heaven, that which God has determined. And for all these souls, let's release the sword of God to cut and to push back the flow of this demonic onslaught on the, on the leaders by the power in the name of Jesus. Our Father. We call upon, we call upon you. We call upon the sword of heaven to come down. Your word to come down and cut the flow of this evil that is in release against your church, especially your leaders. They that bru wasan kan dedibiaba. Candidibitaka, 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 Brasico Loboshikana, Imato Roboto Sakambidibia, in the mighty name of Jesus, any, any evil, we stop it right now. We release the word of God, the sword of God, to cut the floor by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Allow God arise and let all his enemies be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, my 
Masukuru Bushika Tadaba. We are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. That is what you said in your word. Ah, that you were building your church and the gates of hell would not prevail. My God, by that word, we cut the flow of evil. We cut the flow of offense. We cut the flow of betrayal. We cut the flow of hatred. We cut the flow of falsehood. We cut the flow of deception and iniquity. We stop it in their trap. We push them back into the pits of hell where they belong in the name of Jesus and we decree and we declare it will not have its impact and its, its, its fill day in the hearts and in the lives of pastors and church leaders in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. And then the beloved, the final part of this revelation you know, we could have even taken them in uh, for weeks to break it down. But I give it to you because there's so much that God wants to do with that revelation. And I don't want to wait for the weeks. I want to let you know so that by, your, by the Holy Spirit, you will take them up. You will take them up as, as he leads you and really intercede. And so the final aspect of it is when, when the fire, when the fire of God exploded from the ground, when the fire of God exploded from the ground, dearly beloved, the revival of fire of God is flowing. This is a season. This is the greatest season in the history of the church. This is the most powerful season in the history of the church when signs and wonders, when the miraculous, when the spectacular, when the Lord has said, He shall have, He will arise. He will arise just as He did on Mount Pirazum. And He will be rougher as in the valley of Gibeon to do His work. His awesome works and display his act, his unusual act. This is the God we serve. He is in the business of displaying, of working his awesome works in and his unusual acts in the church of God, in the body of Christ. And so we pray this morning together, that the fire of God that will cover, it will cover the church of God, the body of Christ, especially the leaders, the church leaders that will mount up as wings, as eagles. Oh, we will run and we will not faint. We shall soar. We shall soar. We shall soar. Church leaders. They shall do the will of him who has called them and fulfilled them all. In the name of Jesus, Christ has promised greater works. And so the greater works we will do. Greater works we will do. Greater works we will do in the mighty name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Hallelujah. Dearly beloved, our God is greater than the enemy. Our God is greater than our enemy. And whatever the enemy intends to do shall not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want you to understand. I want you to understand that, yes, we are on the winning side. We are on the winning side. And pray this for your pastors. Pray this for your church leaders. Pray this constantly. Because you strike the shepherd and then the sheep will scatter. But our God is good. He is faithful. And he intends oh, to restore that which the canker worms, the palmer worms, and the caterpillars have stolen. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Dearly beloved, I would like, if you love this, I want you to share it, encourage one another with this word. We all must rise up. We should know the times and the seasons that we find ourselves that we will know what we ought to do. The sons of Issachar, they didn't die with the people in, of Israel. The spirit still is at work in those who determine to know what God is doing and to work with him in the season that we find ourselves. So God bless you as you stand in intercession to pray for church leaders and pastors all over the world in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. Love you.